Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by Joe Taposte with Visit Yuma. He has some very exciting news to share about the Dorothy Young Memorial Electric Light Parade this year, I believe 20th year. 20th year. And what's new about this year? What's the theme? This year's theme is Travel Forward. So we're paying homage not only to Yuma's present, but its past and its future. We want to, um, one of the things we want to do is make sure that our, the parade entries reflect on just where Yuma's been, where, where we're at now, and then the future of Yuma. And, you know, last year we did the, um, the Neon 80s. Yeah. So, you know what, we're, we just, you know, this is one of the ideas that we got and we think it's going to be pretty great. So what's an example someone can do? Okay, so, you know, Yuma's rich with history. You know, we were part of the Gold Rush. Um, Gold Rush. Um, you know, the, um, the Colorado River State Historic Park was actually a Union Army base. We have, of course, you know, the indigenous people that live here, that they were in the, on their sovereign land. So we could do that. And then the present, everything that's going on here today, what's going on around Yuma that's here today uh, with our agriculture, with our military, with um, even like with Summerton getting a brand new high school, Go Toros. Big news. Um, yeah, yeah, big news, big news. That's <laughs> awesome. You know what? And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm from La Mesa, from Summerton. So that's big news for me. And then, of course, we're talking about the future. Where is Yuma going to be 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? And the city of Yuma announced that they're going to have, they're trying to get a spaceport down there in South County. You imagine a spaceport in Yuma? That means, I can't imagine that now, but I can see that coming. Well, I mean, it makes perfect sense because if you ever watch any of the, um, uh, of the launches that happen down there in Cape Canaveral, you always get, oh, we can't have the launch because of weather. Well, what happens? You go to the one place where there's clear skies most of the year. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's exciting though, I mean, so, and people can, floats, is it floats yeah. and? Oh yeah, yeah, so the floats, oh. uh, that's why we announced it now. We announced it now because we want them to start getting ready for the parade, getting their floats in, getting it, get it in, working with their communities, working with their schools, and getting that theme in, getting that stuff. So we're looking for everything. We're looking for, um, you know, uh, the history, we're looking for the present, and of course, anything that's space age, anything that's future, anything that's like that, where that's what we're looking for. And so how can people enter? When does it start? All right, so the parade is going to be December 9th, and it starts at 6 o'clock. The parade usually starts around 17th Street and goes all the way down to downtown Yuma and ends on 2nd Street. So um, the, and the application will be available in early September, but we're trying to get it out there early as possible so people can get started. Yes. So you go to visityuma.com, and that's where you'll be able to find the application. It'll be early September, but we'll also announce that. That's amazing. And what's so special about this parade? Tell me a little bit of background about this parade. Oh, uh, so this parade, so Dorothy Young, Dorothy Young was this, uh, um, this human who loved its, her community. She was part of the downtown association. And what she wanted to do was bring a parade, br bring the community together. So she thought a light parade. She had gone to other cities and seen all these different light parades and she decided to get involved here in Yuma. She reached out to APS, which is of course, when you're talking electricity, who else <laughs> better than APS? So she talks to them. So APS was the primary sponsor. The entry fee, you pay an entry fee, it's like 60, 65 bucks, and then you get entered. Um, what, what better way to win than with uh, cash? So money. you get, I mean, <laughs> most of them, uh, you know, except that there is a, a, a first place prize. And the big thing is the marching bands. We're always looking for the marching bands. You know, they're going out there. They're the ones walking the parade. They're the ones that are all decked out. They're the ones that are, you know, um, playing the, the music, the, the holiday music. So there's a big giant trophy that goes to them for each year. You know, they, they judge you by, you know, how close you are to the theme, by how uh, the decorations, by just how bright your um, your float is. And you know what, each year, 40,000 people come down to this parade, 40,000 40, people. 40,000? Yeah, and people actually start setting up for their spot the night before. Wow, so make sure you get there early and get your spots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there anything else that we may need to add and we forgot? Um, yeah, just um, come out, have a good time. And this is a perfect time for Yuma to come together and light up the dead of night sky. That's what we're doing. Show the world what we're all about. Absolutely. Thank you, Joe, for your time. So happy to have you here. Thanks we'll for be, having me. Of course. We'll be right back.